we're following other breaking news. A powerful storm system spawning tornadoes, dangerous flash flooding in the Midwest and South. And Dylan's in for Al following this one for us. There were six reported tornadoes yesterday uh, because of this system. Two of those were actually caught on camera in Lee's Summit. Uh, in Lee Summit, Missouri. I was going to say North Carolina, too. It's on the brain. But I got you started. It's my fault. <laughs> and you can see how the swirling action here just picked up the debris off of this roof. This is just outside of Kansas City, Missouri. And, you know, you can't really see the darkness to the funnel cloud because it doesn't really get dark until it starts picking up all of that debris and the dirt on the ground. We also had another tornado right in this same area, more of a rope tornado. You can see this one here also turning up the winds and we had reports of gas leaks, also reports of roof and barn damage in this general area. And this is a pretty highly populated uh, area. We're also seeing flooding because of these storms. They produce torrential downpours. There were rescues. Look at these people getting rescued out of these waist-deep waters. We also had uh, dogs being rescued uh, in some of these situations because the flooding was so intense and happened in such a short period of time that the, the residents in this area just had nowhere else to go. So that was all because of this stalled front that is sitting right through the Midwest. Here's Kansas City. Lee Summit is right near there. It's a suburb outside of Kansas City. But now the heaviest rain is pushing a little further to the south. We still have the torrential downpours, although the flash flooding threat is going away for now, but we could see it kick back in later on today. We're not really looking at a lot of tornadoes in the forecast for today, but still looking at winds up near 60 miles per hour. Hail up to two inches in diameter is also possible.